The Hebrew alphabet consists out of 22 consonants. Four of these consonants double up as vowels. But what's very different with the Hebrew alphabet is that each of the letters actually not only comprises of a sound, it comprises of a word. And every one of these words actually means something. When the pictographic script changed into the Babylonian flame script or the Assyrian script, the actual names of the letters did not change. Now, there's a lot of scholarly debates about that. Some people actually wonder about the pronunciation of these letters. But for the purposes of this course, we're going to assume that the way we pronounce the modern Assyrian script, the letters of the modern script, that they were the same in the pictographic script. The Hebrew alphabet sounds like this. Aleph, Bet, Gimel, Dalet, Hey, Vav, Zion, Chet, Tet, Yot, Kaf, Lamet, Mem, Nun, Samech, Ein, Pei, Tzade, Kuf, Resh, Shin, Taf. The way you pronounce these letters are almost lazy. If you go to Israel, it is even more lazy. They speak like this very often when they talk English. And it is something to get used to. But the good news is if you are from South Africa or some Germanic country, it's, it's rather easy actually to pronounce some of these letters because we can do the, the guttural sound. What well, is very often funny in America, they, they try to do these with a j or a j sound. Those sounds does not exist in Hebrew. You need to be able to say I'm going to take you through the alphabet again. Aleph Bet Gimel Dalet Hey Vav Zion Chet Tet Yot Kaf Lamet Mem Nun Samech Ein Pei Tzadi Kuf Resh Shin and Taf. When you place these two scripts alongside each other, you can almost see that from the pictographic side that the pictures mean something. They tell a story. They connect you to something of the nomadic worldview. On the other end, the Babylonian flame script or the Assyrian script looks more formal and it's a little bit more difficult to recognize anything specifically from the letters. But they have the same meaning and they have the same function. And we'll get to each of these letters as we progress. Before we can even start thinking of making words, we need to deal with the alphabet. When I started this journey back in 2008, I spent almost an entire year just digging into the alphabet. And this is very important. So to summarize, both the pictographic alphabet and the Assyrian script, each of the 22 letters not only have sounds, they have names. And each of these names have meanings. And we're going to study each of these letters, learn how to write them so that you can familiarize yourself and also just put yourself through the paces. Take a blank page for each letter and learn to write. Learn to write an aleph, learn to how to write a bait, learn how to write a dalit, a gimel, etc, etc. I'm going to help you memorize the alphabet with this simple formula that I use. First five, aleph, bet, gimel, dalit, hey. Okay, next five. Vav, Zion, Chet, Tet. Okay, 
And then Yod, Kaf, Lamet, Mem, Nun. And just note that the Kaf, Lamet, Mem, Nun is similar to the Latin based alphabet because there you have a K, L, M, N next to each other. And then following that you have a Samech and then there's a little rhyme called Ein Peitzadi. It sounds like a transaction. And then you have Kuf, Resh, Shin, Tav, which again lines up with our Latin based alphabet QRST, Kuf, Resh, Shin, Tav. So to take it from the top, and I would highly recommend learn the alphabet, like you would learn the ABC, learn the alphabet. Aleph, Bet, Gimel, Dalet, Hey, Vav, Zayn, Chet, Det, Yod, Kaf, Lamed, Mem, Nun, Samech, Ein, Pei, Tzade, Kuf, Resh, Shin, Taf.